Good morning. I hope everyone's having a great day. You know, I get tons of emails and so many people are going on a 90 day challenge. They want to be the best that they could be. And I think the question of the day is that many of you, you shoot yourself in the foot because you don't feed the machine. If you want to increase your muscle and decrease your fat, then you need to know that protein is tremendous. And here's why. Protein is the building block to muscle. And as you work out with physical exertion, you deplete that. So you need to replenish it. But eating no more than 30 to 40 grams of protein within a two and a half hour period of time. Any more will be stored as fat. Make sure you pick high protein, low fat sources, such as egg whites, fish, turkey, chicken, grass-fed beef, and low-fat dairy products. Now that we know that protein is the building block to muscle, we also need to know that we lose a half a percentage point of muscle each and every year from 30 years old and on. Muscle also burns twice as many calories as fat does, and by volume, it weighs twice as much. It's your furnace. So, one of the biggest confusion points that we have with protein is portion size. This is four ounces. This is all your body could utilize. Anything more, you're gonna store it as fat. If you don't have enough protein, you're gonna go into a catabolic standpoint. You're gonna lose muscle. Remember, a woman eating 13 to 1500 calories a day should be consuming 65 to 70 grams of protein a day. That's 20% of your total calories. A man eating 2,000 calories a day should be having 85 to 100 grams of protein a day. And lastly, if you have kidney problems, make sure you check with your physician before increasing your intake of protein. Until next time, I'm Peter Nielsen with Peter's Principles.